Hi everybody, this is Roy Firestone on Facebook and YouTube Live every Monday, our weekly show. Here's an unusual story. Luis Cristillo was one of the best free throw shooters in New Jersey basketball history. He could shoot baskets, hit jumpers with great regularity. He was also a club fighter who used the name Lou King when he fought, but the boxing career did not last long. Lewis would have played college basketball maybe. Who knows, maybe even pro basketball if the league had been established. But he chose to find work as an actor. Now, he couldn't land a job at first. One day he met a guy named Buddy who also wanted to be an actor, so they formed a kind of comedy team. Sure enough, they clicked. Cristillo changed his name, gave up his dream of being a basketball player, and decided he would try comedy, and it's a good thing. Lou Cristillo, New Jersey's best basketball prospect once upon a time, became one of the great comedians and comic actors ever. You know him as Lou Costello. His basketball prowess can be seen in Here Come the Coeds in 1945, in which he performed all his own trick basketball shots without using a double or special effects. In 1945, on their appearance of the Kate Smith Show, Abbott and Costello performed Who's On First, a routine they would perform literally dozens of times in their career. It's a routine that requires time and concentration and rhythm. Abbott and Costello performed Who's On First many times, but never the same way twice. And they did the routine for President Franklin Roosevelt several times. The routine would become a classic. Watch. Well, let's see now. We have on our team, we have who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. That's what I want to find then, out, the guy's name. And then, uh -huh. That's what I want to find out, the guy's name. I'm telling you, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. Now, Abby, you now, want to be the manager of the baseball team? Yes. You know the guy's names? Well, I should. Well, now you tell me the guy's names on the baseball I team. I say, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. You ain't saying nothing to me yet. Go ahead and tell me. <laughs> I'm telling him. You said nothing yet. Go ahead and tell me. Who's on first? What's on second? I don't know. Is on third. You know the guy's I'll... names on the baseball team? Yes. Well, go ahead. Who's on first? Yes. I mean the guy's name. Who? The guy playing first. Who? The guy playing first base. Who? The guy on first base. Who is on first? Why are you asking me for? I don't know. Now, wait a minute. I'm, not I'm on... asking you who's on first. That's his name. Well, go ahead and tell me. Who? The guy on first. That's it. <laughs> That's his name. Well, you ain't said nothing. I ain't asked you nothing. You did. You know the guy's name on first base? Sure. Well, tell me the guy's name on first base. Who? <laughs> it's now enshrined in Baseball Hall of Fame. Kind of ironic for a kid who wanted to be a basketball player. In March 1943, after completing a winter tour of Army bases, Lou Costello had an attack of rheumatic fever. He was unable to work for six months. And then on November 4th of that year, he returned to the team's popular radio show, but while rehearsing at NBC's studios, Lou Costello was told that his new baby, just shy of his first birthday, died accidentally in a swimming pool. The baby Lou had asked his wife to keep up that night so the boy could hear his father on the radio for the first time. Rather than cancel the broadcast, Lou said, wherever he is tonight, I want him to hear me. And he went on with the show. No one in the audience knew of the death until after the show when Bud Abbott explained the sad events of the day and how Lou epitomized the phrase, the show must go on that night. Lou Costello never really was the same. He died at the age of just 52 in the year 1959. Little known backstory of one of the great comic actors and performers in American history, Lou Cristillo, Lou Costello. That's our show for this week. We'll see you next week.